When you think of private and public cloud, I mean, private cloud is really just a fancy term for um, some virtualization inside of your own data center as a particular organization. What public cloud it is, it, it truly is a utility computing model. What you have is a company like Amazon that's saying, we have all of these resources, compute, disk, uh, network, et al., and we're going to make it available, this huge capacity, we're going to make available to people on a, a utility pricing model. So you pay for what you use, and you have the ability to flex up or contract as your needs uh, require. There are no set limits to the amount of infrastructure that we can pull on. Uh, so if we need to use 130% of the infrastructure that we currently are using, we're able to do that immediately without any uh, lead time or guesswork. With the scale that Amazon provides, we effectively have unbounded capacity. This is uh, in sharp contrast to many private clouds. In a private cloud, the concept is, is that you're given a set of resources to your, for your use effectively exclusively. And so you can scale up or scale down within those resources that are granted to you. If you need to scale beyond the resources that are presently granted, then you're really introducing a set of fairly traditional data center operations. A private cloud vendor might give you, say, 120% of what you require. And the idea being that if you need to go above that number, that they would then, in advance, um, bring additional resources to bear for you to use exclusively. When you're in a private cloud model, you're still very much in a situation where you have to procure all the hardware, you have to manage all the hardware, and you have to buy for the peaks. This is always the problem with um, you know, system sizing, is if your peak is up here, you have to have enough capacity to service this. Even though your more normal operations are down here, you're paying for that delta when you're only going to use it in a very rare circumstance. If our costs are high, then naturally, uh, what we have to charge our customers are high. If our costs are lower, then we can be more aggressive in how we price things. Amazon's infrastructure is public in the sense that anyone can use that infrastructure for whatever services they require. Tracelink is one of many companies that are using Amazon's cloud infrastructure. The service that Tracelink has provisioned is private to Tracelink and its customers and no one else. It's provisioned exactly how we require, with all of the security controls, all of the access limitations and, and permissions, with all of the sizing and scaling requirements that we have, and it is ours to use exclusively for our customers. There's, there's no one else using it.